In a world brimming with uncertainty and teeming with rapid change, have you ever found yourself pondering whether the course of history is guided by an unseen hand? Consider for a moment the possibility that ancient scriptures may indeed hold the blueprint to our future, offering us signs and wisdom for the times ahead. Today, we delve into this realm of divine mystery and seek clarity amidst the swirling predictions of modern day prophets. Join us as we uncover what Christianity has to say about the unfolding events of our time and how they might herald the dawn of the most anticipated event in biblical prophecy, the Second Coming. Despite the incredible advancements of our era that bring us closer together through technology, an intriguing paradox emerges. People report feeling more isolated than ever before. Now, consider the profound words of ancient prophecies, telling of a time when knowledge would abound and hearts would yearn for spiritual truth. Could it be that these ancient words are speaking directly to our generation? As the digital landscape expands and humanity grows ever more interconnected, we're left to wonder if we are indeed living in the days foretold by prophets long ago. Let's embark together on a journey of discovery and discernment. Imagine walking the streets of ancient Jerusalem, your sandals stirring up dust under a sun that watches over lands both old and new. You pass by a man, his eyes aglow with fervent wisdom, speaking of signs and wonders yet to come. Fast forward two millennia and here you stand amidst the clamor of modernity, where high-rise buildings graze the clouds and cars stream past like rivers. Yet that very same sense of anticipation lingers in the air, as if those prophecies uttered long ago were meant for our ears, in our time. The Bible's candid verses speak of wars and rumors of wars, of nations rising against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. Today, these words seem to leap off the page, finding their echo in headlines that scream from our screens with a chilling resonance. Famine, earthquakes, and tumultuous events are unfolding across the globe. Could this be the cusp of what the disciples once questioned Jesus about, the end of the age? Our journey begins with a look at such prophecies, particularly those that the book of Matthew and the mystic revelations of John describe with vivid detail. As we ponder the alignment between ancient texts and today's world affairs, we find ourselves grappling with the reality of climate change, a world stricken by pandemic and societal shifts that have upended lives, reshaped economies, and redrawn borders. These are the moments when the threads of scripture weave seamlessly into the fabric of contemporary life urging us to seek wisdom in the sacred testaments of old. Take, for example, the dramatic shift in our interaction with technology and information. The prophet Daniel spoke of a time when knowledge would increase and people would run to and fro. In an age where the internet reigns supreme and data flows like water, are we living Daniel's vision right now? From the palm of our hand, the world unfolds, bringing with it an unending stream of knowledge, and yet for many, a spiritual void grows ever wider. As we connect these prophetic dots, we uncover a tapestry rich with significance. The ancient voices did not just speak for their time, but transcended generations to offer guidance, caution, and hope to us today. This is our quest, to discern the whispers of the past, to understand the tumult of the present, and to gaze with informed eyes into the possibilities of our future. At the heart of our discourse on prophecies lies the all-too-human search for understanding in a complex world. In the biblical narrative, Joseph's ability to interpret dreams positioned him to not only save Egypt, but also pave the way for the survival of his family, who would become the nation of Israel. Today, we find ourselves yearning for a similar clarity amidst the cacophony of global events. The challenge before us is to discern which of these could be signs foretold by the scriptures and what they mean for our path forward. Consider, for instance, the stark increase in natural disasters. Scripture describes such events with an uncanny precision, as birth pains growing more intense and frequent as the time approaches. Through the lens of faith, the upsurge in hurricanes, wildfires, and other calamities might not just be random occurrences, but could potentially signify the groaning of creation as it awaits redemption. In this segment, we introduce the insights of Dr. Elizabeth Harmon, a biblical scholar who has spent years tracing the links between scripture and environmental phenomena. 
Dr. Harmon suggests that while we should be cautious about attributing any single event directly to prophecy, there is a cumulative effect worth considering. Her analysis invites us to reflect on the broader patterns at play, encouraging believers to respond with both practical action and spiritual preparedness. This approach does not call for passive observation, but rather active stewardship. As stewards of the earth, the directive from Genesis returns to us with renewed urgency, counseling us not to exploit, but to cultivate and preserve. Dr. Rao. Harmon's perspective reveals that our engagement with the environment can be a testament to our faith, reflecting our respect for the Creator by caring for His creation. Furthermore, we hear from John, a member of our Divine Light community, whose life was transformed when he began viewing his own environmental activism as a form of worship. John's story is one of many, demonstrating how an ancient, prophetic narrative continues to weave its influence through the lives of modern-day believers, inspiring a confluence of faith and action. As we consider these voices, let us ask ourselves, how are we as followers of Christ called to live in a world where the lines between the natural and the prophetic may intersect? And what might these signs tell us about the duty we have to our planet and to each other as we anticipate the days to come? In this pivotal moment, let us ponder the imminent expectation of Christ's return and its impact on our existence. How should the anticipation of His second coming shape our daily decisions, our interactions, and our priorities? Reflect on your life through this lens. If we were to witness the fulfillment of the final prophecy tomorrow, would we be content with the life we've led, the love we've shared, and the faith we've demonstrated? This question is far from rhetorical. It serves as a personal call to action, inviting you to consider your footsteps on this earthly journey. The Second Coming is not just a distant theological concept, but a vivid reminder to live each day in alignment with Christ's teachings, embracing kindness, generosity, and unwavering faith. Imagine the transformation in our communities if each decision was infused with the wisdom of the Gospels, if every interaction reflected the love of Christ. Consider the potential for change when we view our careers, our relationships, and even our trials as part of a larger tapestry woven with threads of divine purpose. In the words of Paul, let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. As Christians, the way we lead our lives should be a testament to the hope we carry within us. Let this anticipation not foster apprehension, but inspire a renewed commitment to living out the virtues of the faith. Take a moment now, contemplate your path, engage in sincere self-assessment, and share how the promise of Christ's return shapes your daily walk with God. Together, as a community fostering enlightenment and encouragement, we stand at the ready, not only to face the signs of the times, but to embody the love and righteousness that herald the coming of our King. In our exploration of the signs and the anticipation of Christ's return, we face the challenge of interpreting modern events through the lens of ancient prophecy. It's a task that requires wisdom and discernment to avoid falling into the pitfalls of fear or unwarranted speculation. Within the folds of Scripture, we find vivid descriptions of end times, visions of tribulation, and promises of a new kingdom. Yet, as we turn the pages of newspapers or scroll through digital feeds, do we see the echoes of biblical forewarnings or merely the cycles of human history? It is here we must tread cautiously, acknowledging the complexity of apocalyptic literature and the diversity of its interpretations. As we seek clarity, let us employ visual tools like timelines and charts, not as devices to predict the exact hour, but as means to understand the broader narrative of God's plan. Such aids can help simplify complex theological concepts, making them accessible and manageable for all believers. Through these explorations, we must remember the cornerstone of our faith, the call to live a Christ-centered life. This remains true regardless of the times we find ourselves in or how we interpret the signs around us. The Gospels provide us with a framework for living that transcends the ages, a life characterized by love, service, patience, and an ever-present hope in our future redemption. As we reflect on prophetic signs and wonders, let us not be swayed by every wind of doctrine, but grounded in the truth that has been passed down through generations. Our charge is to light up the world with the message of the gospel, 
to be pillars of strength and beacons of hope to those seeking direction. True understanding comes when we align our lives with the teachings of Jesus, whose words are as relevant now as they were two millennia ago. His message to us was clear, to stay watchful, to be ready, and to engage in the continuous work of building his kingdom here on earth until the day of his glorious return. As we draw this journey to a close, let us hold fast to the kernel of truth we've unearthed today, that amidst life's tumult and the ceaseless tide of events, the timeless words of scripture offer us a compass by which to navigate. It is not ours to decode the day or the hour, but to live in a manner befitting those who await a promised return, a watchful existence devoted to faith and suffused with love. To tread this world as beacons of hope, emulating Christ in our actions, is the truest interpretation of prophecy we can aspire to, for it transcends all understanding and heralds the dawn of a kingdom not of this world. Let these ancient prophecies spark reflection within your heart, and may that reflection guide you towards a life of greater purpose and spiritual fulfillment. And now we extend an open invitation to you, our viewers, to be part of the ongoing dialogue. Share with us your insights. What signs resonate with you? How has prophecy touched your life? Or how do you envision living in anticipation of Christ's return? We invite your responses, your questions, and your stories. Remember to subscribe to Divine Light for more explorations into the profound connections between ancient wisdom and our present reality. Don't forget to share this journey with friends and family, joining together in a community of seekers and believers. For those thirsty for more, look out for our upcoming discussions, study groups, and interactive sessions where we can continue to grow in knowledge and faith. Until we meet again, keep searching, keep reflecting, and above all, keep shining the divine light in every corner of your life. May grace and peace be with you all.